astrology and other divinatory arts are not a replacement or substitute for physical or psychiatric health care. If this is an emergency situation or you are in crisis, please do not defer your wellness to readings or horoscopes. Seek situation-appropriate, qualified assistance instead. Hey there Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your weekly tarot forecast for the week starting July 17th, 2022. And just a quick reminder, if you are watching your rising sign forecast, remember your rising sign is giving you additional clarity as to how a great deal of your sun sign forecast is showing up. And if you are watching your moon sign, you are getting the less prominent, albeit still significant, side story that's also playing out throughout the course of this week. And should you ever wish to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. This week, your big spiritual theme, or the big focus, is the lover's card, Upright. I'm not upright, sorry, reversed. It's reversed. So the lover's card reversed. What's that all about? With the lover's card reversed, this is a week where a lot of you Aquarius people are getting a chance to finally detach, finally break, and cut cords with involvements that are not win-wins, that they're not actually paying off in the sense that there is no equivalent exchange or it may even be precipitating a lose-lose, win-lose kind of situation. With the lover's card reversed, this is a time for a lot of Aquarian people to make big jailbreaks, as it were, especially when it comes to things that they thought they would be bound to for the long term. Now, whether these are easy outs that are showing up or there are just a lot of opportune severance and sundering opportunities for a lot of involvements or a lot of associations that you do wish to extricate yourself from, this is going to be the time. This is also an opportunity for a lot of you who have been trying to find an, an escape from maybe not necessarily of an involvement or association with a contract, an entity, or a person, but maybe a long-term path you have been on to also find your road elsewhere. When it comes to your material circumstances, your work, your job, your finances, practical affairs as it relates to your home and family life, you do have the Ten of Swords reversed. And very much this theme of escape and dodging a bullet is very, very strong here, especially when it comes to those of you that have been looking to maybe make a pivot with a financial or professional strategy or road that, again, you no longer wish to remain on. A lot of this is going to come because something is getting brought back to life for you. The Ten of Swords reverse is indicating a bit of a resurrection occurring. This could be an old career opportunity, an old promotion, an old transfer, or maybe even a resurrection of an old money-making opportunity that shows great promise. Keep an open mind because just because something may be coming back to life from out of the past doesn't mean it's going to go the same way. Perhaps it was before its time or perhaps it was just being taken on with the wrong people or in the wrong space. But this resurrection and this resurgence could also mean the return of a lot of old money to you. When it comes to your community, friends, relatives, and other people in your life, we do have the Seven of Swords upright. So... Talking about unhelpful associations, unhelpful alliances, or maybe just, let's just call it what it is, a toxic friendship or a toxic association. The Seven of Swords Upright is indicating that there may be some news going on about a friend, a relative, or a close contact that either you are finding out has been acting in deceitful, dishonest ways, or you may be catching them in the act yourself. This could be something that they have committed that could be a slight against you, or you may simply be catching them doing this kind of end run or pulling some kind of shady behavior with regards to another person that you care about or that you should both care about. And with the Seven of Swords, I do see that this is a this is more than just a red flag. This is a friend or a relative or an associate that's taking you on a tour of the bur- of the red flag factory and the red flag factory is on fire. And you are not going to be able to unsee what you see. You're not going to be able to put a positive spin on it. Uh, that would be very, very silly. I do think a lot of you are just going to have to see where, okay, we put our trust in this friend or this ally, or maybe we gave this the wrong person the benefit of the doubt. 
The good news is, is again, with the set, with the lover's card reversed, we told the break with them is going to be very, very easy. It's going to be very quick and we don't really have to engage with this, nor do we have to suffer any consequences of it. When it comes to your challenge this week, we do have the Hierophant card upright. Aquarius, you are ultimately the one who makes the rules in your life, right? You decide what's right. You decide what's good. Everything else is really just input and a suggestion. And I feel like what's happening is that with the, with the Hierophant card upright, you are being challenged to create real rules of engagement and enforce them when it comes to how people deal with you and how people carry on. If you haven't noticed, you, the, a lot of this week has been all about you maybe negating or remediating circumstances where you have been living on other people's terms or trusting the wrong people or keeping flimsy boundaries or maybe even doing a bit of people pleasing so that people like you. Well, with the Hierophant card upright, now you get to be large and in charge, but I mean, ultimately, you do decide the rules for how people engage with you. You do decide the rules of a friendship with you. You do decide the rules when it comes to how people engage with you financially or professionally. You set the boundaries. And with the Hierophant card upright, you are going to need to see where you have not actually been a good authority when it comes to the rules and boundaries in your own life. Otherwise, we wouldn't have situations like the Seven of Swords guy walking all over you. If you have a tough time with this, pay attention to where you may be deferring too much thought to outside authority figures to guide your way. You have to step up. No one's going to hold your hand. No thought leaders, God for frickin' bid, you know, are going to have all the answers here. Whether those thought leaders are people in your community or examples or role models or, God forbid, people online in the self-help community, really, those people are just selling a hot glass of piss and trying to market it as chicken soup for the soul, right? That's just nursery school wisdom. You are better than that. Make up the rules that you know work for you, work for your family, work for your life, and make sure other people know how to engage with you. When it comes to your relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, you do have the moon card reversed. And there are some very cool reveals going on this week for you. And the reveals that seem to be showing up have to do with people coming forward or people coming out about concealed information that actually serve you and the relationship very well. Whatever is coming out is coming out as a very pleasant surprise. Uh, the vibe I'm getting from this moon card reversed is that something could be getting revealed that is taking a lot of pressure off a relationship or promising a great deal of more intimacy and more trust because of a certain level of comfort and vulnerability being presented at the same time. With the moon card reverse, those of you who are single or available to new people uh, may be finding that somebody is stepping forward in terms of a romantic interest or inclination towards you. You may be finding out about a secret admirer. Uh, some of you may be finding that it's not somebody showing up directly, but we find out about this by more of a roundabout way, but the opportunity to explore a really promising relationship opportunity is still here. For those of you who are currently coupled or married, this can be a partner coming out about something that brings a certain relief but also a new lease on life for your relationship. This could be something that a partner has been trying to deal with on their own, but they do need to be vulnerable about, or it could even be a partner revealing something that uh, allows you to see a side of them that maybe has not been brought forward or that you've not had a chance to get to know because it's a side of them that has not come out for a very long time, most likely a part of themselves that, you know, hasn't been around since long before your relationship began. But that part of them is also very compatible with you. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Y'all know I appreciate it. And should you ever wish to get a session with me, you can go on to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.